What's up? It's Alex from Bell Master Kingdom. We're at the Mod Club today for the Primal Fear Little Tours Rhapsody Tour. And I'm here with the man himself, Ralph Sheepers of Primal Fear. Thank you. Hello, Ralph. Hi. So, okay. first, of all, first of all, welcome back to Toronto. Thank you. And it's my first time seeing you guys, but I've been, cool. a, fan, I've been a fan for a while. Cool. So. Cool. Glad you made it. Yep. By the way. I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad to, to finally get the opportunity to see you guys. Cool. So, it's the last day of your tour with Rhapsody. True. And how's it going? So, how's it been? Amazing. It's just been an amazing journey so far, and we're, like you said, we're also looking forward to our last show for tonight. Then we have two days off and fly to Japan, and then to Australia the very first time, so everybody's really happy. The whole team was really working good together, so yeah, it's only good things to tell. Awesome, awesome. Uh, have you guys done shows with uh, Luca and the guys before? The the festivals? It's the first time, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, the nice. First time, yeah. Nice. Right, so, uh, the new album, Rule Breaker. It's another fantastic album. Thank you. And uh, this is the first album with uh, Francesco Iavino on drums, Steve. and uh, formerly of Woody Udio. And uh, it's also the first album since uh, Seven Seals to feature Mr. Tom Nunn, who was just here. Uh, now, he's been doing live guitars with you for the last few years. And um, you did a one-off reunion show with the original lineup last year. Was that sort of what stemmed uh, Tom coming back to the band as a full member? I mean, he's a, as you said, he's a founding member, full member, and uh, it was basically clear that when uh, Magnus couldn't come on tour with us, that we might uh, bring in Tom again because he helped out at the, the time when Magnus couldn't play because of family issues and so forth. And that's still the reason why he can't go on tour. Okay. So uh, it was sort of crystal clear for us to get Tom back after, after everything was so, so, so from the past. So we're pretty happy to have him back. And you have a triple guitar attack on the album. Yeah, on the album, the album, yes. Yeah. So, in the future, whenever uh, Magnus can come back on the tour, it'll be six members playing? So. Never say never, but at the moment we don't think about that. All it's right. just step by step. Francesco, uh, how did he come to the picture? He replaced the Kills Greaser. Yes, so um, we knew Francesco since, like you said, since the UDO phase when we were touring together. I think it was 2000, uh, I can't remember when it was, 2008 or 7. And uh, we remember him as a wonderful person and a fantastic drummer. And we've been checking out several people and so forth, and there were always some uh, problems with. Uh, economic problem like traveling so far to get a drummer you can't do her and so forth and that's basically the problem why at least uh, uh, was not our final <clears throat> guy we had in mind as this feeling of having a band back you know like being in the rehearsal room and the rehearsal stuff so that was not his fault it was maybe our uh, best decision at the time but we wanted to have a replacement quick after Randy so we took uh, Achilles Bridge. But then, like you said, it's, it was just great to, to get uh, Francesco and he was really happy to join in the band. He's a phenomenal drummer. Absolutely. I'm, I'm a drummer myself Absolutely. too, and just uh, seeing it, his, his sense of feel, his sense of groove is like, yeah. amazing. So, and I love his performance on the album. It's true. Yeah. So, yeah. Next year is the 20th anniversary of the band. Any plans to celebrate? Yes. There are Great negotiations. Shows, there are no negotiations for one big show, and uh, I wouldn't. I want to. Don't want to tell so much so far because it's going to be yeah, no going to be surprise uh, mm -hmm. next year. And there's still one year to, to plan and to, to schedule things. So you will all uh, mm -hmm. all uh, be informed when when it's the case. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. If it's in Germany, I'm going to have to make the flight. Yeah, it will so, be in Germany. Yeah, it will be awesome. So, um, speaking of the original lineup, what's uh, Klaus Sperling doing nowadays? I, I think he's in a band called Heidegard, so, and uh, yeah, he's still doing quite music yeah. 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 All right, so, I heard that you're also a vocal teacher, right? I'm a vocal teacher, yes. How, how long have you been doing that? Since I was a Basically now five or six years there.
I want to get your thoughts on one of the biggest stories that's been going on around the right now, which is DC, uh, with Brian Johnson having oh. to have stepped down because of his yeah. vocal, not vocal, hearing issues, yeah. and which we hope uh, is can be fixed. But then the band continuing on with Axl Rose. I was one of those guys that was uh, that had his doubts about the whole thing, but after hearing some like and seeing some video clips on YouTube, it actually sounds pretty good. So, what are your thoughts? Basically, it's not my, you know, who am I to judge this? I mean, mm -hmm. um, my thoughts are the same, he's doing a great job, but I would never say things to anything else. It's just my personal op uh, opinion about it, he's doing good, he's doing good, yeah. I don't want to talk about too much about the terms which uh, are not my my business, you know, so yeah. it's all good. Yeah. 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 Alright, so you guys are very active with touring and recording, with new records coming out pretty much uh, every two years or so. Another rule breaker just came out, and people are still raving about it. People are still playing the shit out of it. But uh, are like a new riffs like coming together for future songs already? Not so far. <clears throat> it's a, bit, a little bit too early, and um, maybe we'll find uh, some time after tour to to collect ideas again. And basically, next year is going to be a writing year, so we still have enough time for the next one. Awesome. But be sure that it's going to be a heavy metal album, screaming heavy metal album. And the uh, final question that after this tour you have some shows coming to Japan, like you said, also Australia, mm -hmm. and then the European festivals after that. And then later in the fall, you're teaming back up with Luca and the guys for a South American run. Yes. Um, what are the plans for touring uh, after that, maybe in a bit of 2017? We'll see. Like I said, next year, we go step by step. So, uh, first of all, there's the September dates, and then maybe some Christmas dates, or even in between some more European dates, and who knows. There's still negotiations going on. And then we just sit back and just collect ideas and see what we can do with another album. Even the live album we will see step by step. So, and of course next year is going to be dead because we missed some great festivals because we're we in Japan and Australia. We missed the Sweden Rock, for instance. So we're hoping to have a, a, a huge festival here next year. So we're going to look forward to that. Awesome, that sounds great. Well, that's pretty much all we got. So thank, thank you. you. Um, any last words to the fans? Thank you for your support. Of course, it's, um, it's always a pleasure to come to your city and to join and make a party. Keep doing it, and metal will never die. Metal is forever, as the song says. <laughs> so, be sure to catch Brown with Fear on tour throughout the rest of the year. We'll be hitting in Europe, Japan, Australia, and South America, and pick up the new album of Rule Breaker out now on Frontier of Records. I'm Alex for watching Thanks. Peace. Kill!